Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe management of this very hard cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. And this is a side port on the left side of the main incision at around 2 o'clock. And now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out. As I do this, I see that the conjunctiva is swelling up. So after injecting some visco into the anterior chamber, I take a scissor and do a small peritomy so that conjunctival chemosis doesn't occur. In this case, there is the conjunctiva has engrossed onto the sclera a bit. And now, capsulorexis. This is a very hard cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 6 and a large strexis is done in such cases. Small rexis causes a lot of problems during management of the nucleus. Now hydrodissection. Small amount of BSS is injected at multiple points and nucleus is gently tapped. And now, a little bit of visco. My plan is to rotate this nucleus bimanually in this case. A very hard nucleus and if we try to rotate it with one instrument, there can be stress on the jonule. But bimanual rotation is very friendly to the jonule. So the nucleus rotation is nice. And now, now is the time to introduce the phaco needle into the anterior chamber. Here it goes. The Faco needle goes bevel down, some superficial lens matter is aspirated and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now I come near the main wound, push the nucleus little down and go into the substance of the nucleus. Travel through the nucleus with high vacuum and high ultrasonic energy and as I reach near the opposite equator, I use the chopper to crank the nucleus. Then I rotate the nucleus 180 degree and separate the nucleus completely. This is my submarine chalk technique. One hemineucleus is then divided into pieces. I'm trying to get the apex of the triangular pieces. I have emulsified two pieces and now I come to the other hemineucleus. Divide it into two pieces. Come to the larger piece and now I come again to the smaller piece and emulsify that piece. Ultrasonic energy being used is 85 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the larger piece of the hemineucleus. It is subdivided into smaller pieces and the pieces are emulsified. All the pieces are brought at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane and then they are emulsified. 
This is the last nuclear piece. At this time, extra precaution is taken. The last piece has been divided into two pieces. One piece is emulsified at high vacuum and high flow rate as in other piece. And during emulsification of this last nuclear piece, last small nuclear piece, vacuum is reduced to 300 millimeter of mercury and flow rate to 30 ml per minute. And, and now the chopper is removed from the antechamber. Very slowly the last piece is emulsified, placing the FACO needle at this stage, at this position. Just at the center, little bit towards the main end. And in this case, there is hardly any cortex. There are some fibers, probably. So, I, yes, there are some small fibers. Those are removed. And now the entry chamber and capsular bag is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The main wound is enlarged a little bit. And then a hydrophobic acrylic single piece aspheric monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. Here it goes. And now the lens is dialed to place the haptics 90 degree away from the main wound so that I can go behind the IOL and irrigate in the capsular bag nicely and remove all the visco molecules from the capsular bag. First I go with the Simco cannula, irrigate the entry chamber and then push the nucleus, go behind the nucleus, irrigate the capsular bag and when the fluid is over about 5 cc fluid is irrigated and already there is irrigation and irrigation is also done through the aspirating port and thus a lot of visco molecules come out just by irrigation as the fluid gets over irrigation and aspiration is carried out and now I take the bimanual IA I have only two ports, so I go with the irrigating port through the main wound. At this time, I lift the anterior leaf, anterior wall of the main wound a bit, and the antechamber is maintained. Aspiration is done intermittently so that the anterior chamber doesn't become shallow. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma and then a lavage of the anterior chamber is done by the Simco cannula. The anterior chamber is formed in this way and now I inject moxifloxacin subconjunctively under the peritomy and the conjunctiva comes forward. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.